Hello everyone. In this episode, I'm going to cover all the stuff I've done. I've been playing a lot without recording, and this is my second time recording this episode. The reason being I'm recording it again is because I waited like five days to get over sleep deprivation of being jet lagged. It didn't help, so I decided just to record an episode, and I was a little too honest. I um, recorded the episode and edited it all. It's all done. But yeah, I was too honest, so I'm just going to save that one for patrons if you want to check it out. But this morning, I wake up feeling like I've actually slept for the first time in like a week. For those who don't know, I was in Europe for four weeks. On a work holiday, of course. I got some content to make out of it. There's a number of things I want to cover. The first is I'm not going to say hello everyone It's Farkad here anymore. The reason being is I'm getting demonetized now because they're interpreting that Farkad is a swear word. Now, you think that, oh, that's just their computer doing it. No, it's happened twice in a row and a human has said it twice. Like that level of incompetence is just, it's spicy, but it's YouTube. It's what I've got to deal with. The second thing is I'm just getting over all this crap of dealing with demonetization because this game is so ridiculously violent and graphics are a little too realistic for YouTube's computer automated systems. Dismemberment and uh, beheadings, nudity and all that sort of stuff, you can't be monetized for that on YouTube. And this game has a lot of it. And I don't think Endnight is interested in making a censored version of it. Well, not a censored version, but a version that could work on YouTube very well. I've had a nightmare for the last four months dealing with YouTube with it. And it's not just about making money. If you can't make content that can be monetized, YouTube aren't really interested in hosting it because they don't profit off it. So any video you don't monetize, they push it right down the bottom of the ranking system. So it barely gets any views. Now, one of the biggest reasons I struggle to make content on this game is that I found a bug and I've named it Breaking the Grid. And this bug is absolutely horrific if you get to this point. What it means is that I can no longer join up sections of a grid. These two grids, this main one and this one that goes all down down there, all the way down there, all along up here, was separated and I saved an exit. And if you do that, you've broken the grid. You can't separate them. You have to have them connected by at least one. I've been able to reconnect some parts like here. I'm sorry I waited to the snow actually. Cheat stick, season, summer. This is just stupid. Snow in this game is just, I don't know. <laughs> Went to Europe, I didn't see any snow. I still haven't seen snow properly before. This is my system, zipline system. This one heads to a cave that has a 3D printer. We're going to have a look. I'm not gonna save on this one, I'm just gonna show you what's been going on. Got access to all this. Comes with resin, light bulbs, solar panels, duct tape, batteries, wire, and there's a whole bunch of arrows in the corner. And every time I save and reload, I can come down here. But this is the fourth time I've been down here. And it's like day 60 something, so I don't come down here very often. I'll get back to breaking the grid bug soon. But this is a tower I thought I'd make as a design. You think this is expensive, but you're often building these things in areas where you don't need the logs here. So it's not a big deal. I think it's exaggerated. You don't really need something like this. And it heads to here. And I'm probably going to go up that way because if I go up there to that ridge and then go along one, I'm at the modern axe cave. I'm at the modern axe camp, which has some resources there. And I just started this one. I actually made that one and then realized it was a meter short to fit there, so I had to rebuild it. I wasn't very happy, but yeah. And this one follows down to the beach where the handgun boat is. It's not a very good spot for it. I'm gonna build towers here too. It's got space in my part. And there's a little camp down there. You can see a little orange dot, if it will allow me. There's the problem. If I go sideways on these little towers I'm making, what happens? Launches me off the other side. If you were normal or hard, this would be fine because you just take a medication, but medication's a lot more difficult to get in hard survival. That is something they've done very well with Sons of the Forest is their hard survival mode is actually a survival mode. It's uh, next level. Built this barrier to stop me falling off here and then just jump over. Should have done that earlier. Turn the snow off because it's just too difficult to show you things. You probably hear my voice. I probably actually sound sick. I probably might be because I just have not been sleeping well. So this breaking the grid bug, I can't rejoin it, so I have to lift up everything. And what I did is that I started working my way down here. I don't know if you can see. This is actually a good way to store the different size logs. Sections of walls, you just stack them like that. It's not a bad way anyway, it's neat. 
So I followed it down. You just place the log, chop it, place the log, chop it, place the log, chop it, etc. All these pieces are just leftovers. Now I built down here and built up here and joined it back up with the grid. And then that way, when it's snow, I can rebuild all this because I've got to replace it or it's not part of the grid. Just to show you, oh, I can't show you because it's winter now, but that's not part of the grid. All this here too. As you can imagine, I was infuriated and I had no interest in rebuilding any of this. As you can see, there's no reason for that to be happening. And the reason is, is I've broken the grid and I have to deal with it now. I lose so much armor. So this is me building a castle. And do not underestimate how long this is going to take you. I mean, a lot of this has been done in hard survival with the previous enemy spawnage where they just constantly spawn and never stop. So it's taken a lot longer. There's so many stones here, but still, it just you need so much. I'm not going to cover a lot of the stuff I mentioned in that other video I mentioned that I've saved for Patreons. It's because, yeah, it's um, this is stuff in there that I could probably go without saying. Here was one of my main gripes is this. This is actually here because there's a stone underneath here and because of the way the building system is in this game, to completely hide it, I have to place six square foundations worth. And that rock wasn't even that big. And I decided to put my ramp in here. Eats up a lot of room. I was originally going to have the corners here, three by three, and have a ramp going up. That's my kitchen. Everything was out here, and I've just moved it inside, which took a long time as well. But there are things like this, these rocks, this game is not nice to you if you have to um, build around them. The forest was easy, custom blueprints, you just build a shape, cover it up. But I have to use one, two, three, four for the square to block it off or hide it. There's no point in having it in my house. Just like that one, this rock is absolutely tiny. Look at it. It's not tiny, but it's pretty small but because of where it is. Six square foundations I have to block off. And this is what I decided to do as well. Half wall and put the stoves up on top. It is uh, not a good idea as I thought it would be. I was trying to have a stove system. It's too high. And also the game does this. The fire's up here. Look what my character does. It's actually worse than that. It usually gets on the floor. So I'm going to probably redo a quarter if I can. See what the game will let me do. This is really annoying. This is like part of breaking the grid or something because I cannot fill in here. There's nothing I could do about it. And how much I've got to take away to fix it, I'm not sure. I think you might be able to see where I'm going with why that other video I'm not uploading it because yeah, I just took a massive dunk on the game. I wasn't happy with the state of it. But these effigies constantly respawn back. There's nothing I can do to stop them. You can destroy them, but they just reappear every time you save them reload this has been the bane of my existence this is only something i found out last night because i recorded the video and i thought i'd start working on it yeah i actually got into replacing the thing i wasn't keen on the idea of just pulling this all up and then just not doing anything with it so that's the point of preparing all that is then i build along there and use all these logs and planks to build all down there check out this bug it's a glitch i don't know this is terrible i've lost three log carts to this so that little gas thing I just showed you, watch what happens if you drive a log cart into it. Of course it's not going to do it. What is it stuck on? Of course it's not going to do it. Where did it go? I forgot that rope spawn here. Shouldn't have built over it because it's starting to get low on ropes. Yeah, I'll show you after I've finished all this. So I've been playing for about six or seven hours and built probably eight hours now building all this. Now it's before they fix the enemy spawning. I played with the new enemy spawning. It is much better. I can bring up a ton of stones. They spawn like crazy down here and all up there as well. This place is a pretty good place to build. Stones there and heaps here, heaps spawns here. Got four piles of it. Six piles. There you go. And I can just send them up. This is an interesting little spot. Yeah. You got the creek here. And there's this little plateau you could probably build on. It starts like here. It's got like natural fortifications here. If you cleared a lot of the trees, it would actually look quite nice here. But they can't get in all in this spot here. If you're looking for probably an easier place to defend, maybe here would be good. You'd build a nice little house here. 
then wraps back around and then you got to defend from here to probably over here somewhere. Yeah, so it gives you a decent chunk of building space. I've caught a lot of fish in here with just two traps. The fish traps have been fixed in patches long before this, but two is plenty if you're relying on eating people as well, which is what I've been doing. Plus I don't work in the winter, obviously. But I was, um, before the changes to the enemy waves, they attack so much you can just live on eating them. You don't have to actually get food because, yeah, as you can see, they, I had so many at one point. They just never stopped attacking, so I was like, well, that's free food. Ah, uh, there's so many things that I've done. So I only just made this. I don't know if it's going to work. It's like three doorways. It's just to stop them walking right in if they get past here. So this is my attempt at like a tunnel of death, I guess. It works semi well, I think. There's a pouch and arrows there. Yeah, there is. I think that stuff doesn't despawn. I can see the arrows on the ground. So babies can walk through. That's about the only thing that's really annoying. But most enemies just get chopped up into hell. But there's like this fine line they can kind of sneak down through the middle. So it's not foolproof. And you just build things up. But the rock walls, the stone walls are just... Oh, the stone walls are just solid. They're not going anywhere. Ah, uh, does it work well? I don't know yet. I um, do know, but um, I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. When the demons and stuff get stuck in here and get killed, getting their armor's a pain. I um, don't know if I'm going to incorporate this system into my um, castle or not, because it moves on to the next thing that I did, was building elevating stone walls like this, because I actually got over the defensive walls in the game. And the reason being is that defensive walls were really weak, but I started this before they got their buff, They've been buffed now, so they're like six times stronger. It was a four times stronger, I can't remember. But still stone walls are, I think, a lot stronger. I can't remember. But building like elevation like this is, I don't know, just take a look at it, see what you think. Um, set time of day. Oh, oh no. There no, you go, I killed it. I don't like the kill radius command because it's, it kills Virginia and um, <laughs> Calvin as well. I never know the range of it. They should be immune. Um, can't even see, but this is what it looks like. Look how much shadow the trees create. That is actually one of the things I did in Europe. I went through forests and stuff <laughs> to see how much shadows are created by the forest, like whether this is realistic. This is not realistic. Trust me, it is not. I'm gonna do a video on it. It's too dark, way too dark. I just, there's no forest that I went to with that dark. Well, like the shadow from that is way darker than in here. How does that make sense? Oh, I got no idea. Okay, so back on track. See, I don't know if these look very good. A problem with this game with the new stone foundation is you can't fill the bottom. And I think that looks kind of trashy. But along there it looks fine, but you start getting down here and it's like, uh Because you can't fill the bottom. And then I have to fill it out here because as for mentioned, as for mentioned, is that the right word I'm supposed to use? I'm not sure. These stones are a nightmare. So I've got one, two, three nightmare stones to work with, and they're terrible. You can only build around them so much, but the way the building system is in this game, oh man, these are a nightmare to build around. The forest, fine, you just, you just walk all over them. But in this game, it is not the case. Best thing about these is actually use bodies to cut up because the limbs are less likely to fall through the stone, whereas they're more likely to fall through the ground. So I'll often throw bodies there to um, butcher up. I'm not defining which kind of bodies there. If you're going to build with stone, you will barely use any logs off learned. You think two logs will make nearly a whole square of planks for a foundation thing? <laughs> She's sitting on the shelf. Good on her. Yeah, also, wherever you put foundation, stones will stop spawning. So I the foundations along here. Stones stop spawning. I've moved it back again. They've started opening up again. The beauty of this spot is just so much stones all down there. All along here, as you can see. They spawn all along here, but I've built on top of it, so they don't spawn anymore. But that's fine, because I've got so many other spots all up along there. And then, if we go up above the waterfall... They all spawn up here too, along here, around this pond. There's not as much up here, but it's enough. They never, ever, ever attack through here. Kind of curious what would happen if... You can actually see where the snow's falling over there. And that one section. 
It's a bug probably because they use a console command. So yeah, this wasn't necessary to wall off maybe. I don't know, I'm not going to confirm that. Here yeah, they do attack a fair bit. I've added a lot more traps here. And with a new system where you don't trigger traps, it's supposed to work on hard survival, but I am not triggering traps as you can see. And I tell you what, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this castle, whether I'm just going to have it there, build it up along the wall there. I don't know. It takes a long time to build in this game. A long, long time. Especially when you get smart AI, you know, getting caught on everything. Yeah, I am in a lot better mood than I was yesterday when I made this same video. So yeah, this is so far the best spot in the game, I think. You got two waterfalls, it's noisy, but they've got the sound trap now, which I want to use. You've got this that won't freeze over when it's winter. Fish down there, there's deer up there. Our oh, problem is, if you get knocked down or die, you're whatever you're called, you get taken away pretty far. Closest cave or 3D printer is just here. Like it's one zip line away, that's how cool that is. I think that's cool. Um, doesn't mess with the path thing of uh, Virginia and that, they just walk over the river thing. Two zip lines more that way, I go to the modern axe camp. And if I took a direct route to the beach, I'd probably get there a lot sooner. Probably in two or three zip lines. I'd say three zip lines. I took a zip line when I was in Europe. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a. It was in a cave. A huge cave. That's going to be a topic for another video. It was a cave so big. At points when I was walking through it, I thought it was just nighttime. And guess what? Doesn't work very well in a cave. One of these bloody things. A waste of time. So what I'm going to try and do is get a zip line system coming down all the way down to here. I did record all that stuff that I was making there, but I came out with like six hours worth of footage and it dragged on so much because the man I was getting attacked. Wasn't that exciting? So I come here and all the stuff respawns. So tarp, two MREs, soft drink, cash, medicine, a radio uh, for the new trap, which is going to be good. And just here is a crap ton of oysters which they're useless on their own. You get like nothing for them. I don't even see the point in eating them by myself. If like one or two food. The thing is though, turtles spawn here. They might not spawn because I um, messed with the season command. As far as I know, they spawn just up from it. Just last time I killed them, because I've gotten a couple of turtle shells here, I think it was right here, which should give me turtle eggs, but uh, I don't know. So I'm going to try something. I mentioned about the... these gas things. Oh, yeah, there we go. So those gas things you got to be careful with because I've lost three log carts to them and they weren't just normal log carts, they were the premium ones. So as you can see, I lost everything. So every part of that has been destroyed. I don't get the duct tape back, the skulls. So four duct tapes lost, two cloth and two skulls. The rest of it's fine. Your resources in it, you do get back. And I went out there to uh, get another handgun as a response. Uh, as far as I know, there's nothing else on this beach that I could zip line to. There is two boats somewhere around here, I think, and they've got is there boats. No, the boats must be elsewhere. That wouldn't be a too bad of a place to build. Ideally, I wanted to build somewhere where there was access to a river so it didn't freeze over during winter and close to the beach so I could get turtle shells. Also, a zipline system going around on the beach might be pretty effective because it's quite flat. You don't have to build towers. I oh, hear it is. Here's the boat. So I think it's got two ropes. One. Oh, it's coins in there. It's one. It's a big river that leads up to Lake Group A. I'm not saving any of this. I'm just showing you. Give a recap of like eight hours worth of recording. I'm trying to jam pack it into 20 minutes. I just can't be bothered. Wasn't that exciting from memory? Oh, that's when I originally went over. Cans of food that I can't open up. There's probably other useful stuff, but this map is so huge it's hard to tell. There's all these effigies here, but there's no items with them. Oh, there's a rope there. Maybe I was wrong. One rope isn't much though. I'm planning on actually having a zipline system going around the whole map. Just going around the outside of it. Take a long time though. Whether how well it would work, I don't know. Maybe it's not efficient. This is this would take forever. And there's a bug in the game too at this point where they've optimized the crap out of the game. So the game runs a lot better, but as soon as you open up the main menu, your GPU usage will skyrocket. Maybe I should update my GPU drivers to see if that's the issue. I wonder how long it would take for me to build to here. Ah, uh, this is pretty far away, actually. This is another camp. Just to show you again, 
Don't do this, man. This is not worth it. This is rage inducing. These things aren't cheap to make. You duct tape, you're always going to be needing for something else. Yeah, all gone. Bloody gas cylinders. Is it a bug? I don't know. Is it realistic that that would explode? Probably not. There's another one there. Um, fill this one up with logs to show you what happens. So you get all your logs back, but your log card's gone. A lot of ropes here. But if I'm going to come down to here, I might as well go down to cave. Oh, this is really far away. Is it? So foot, I'm pointing, but you can't see me pointing at the screen. So to go from my base to that, those two icons on the beach, the top one is about four zip lines worth. So to come here is about eight. Spicy salami. It's quite often you find the cave cannibals on the beach. Get some sun. What is that? Yeah, they really need a censored version of this game. It might get to a point where I might just have to pay some modders a few grand to censor the game for me. This generic body that they use for the game is everywhere. They probably will flesh it out and make it specific that everyone's got a story. Holy crap. You got it quick. There's another one there. Maybe this is what they mean as they wander around more than not so out the front of caves and such. This is the beach spawn. And there's a cave here. That's the rebreather and taser cave. This spot over here is spicy. This part here is safe to cross. Oh, you even stand here. If you want to build a zipline across, this spot over here is spicy, eh? Building near here is actually quite a good idea. This one. Because that's three pieces of duct tape. Why is the... I left my pot here. I'll be out of spare. There's one, two, three pieces of duct tape. I've shown this many times before. And a pot. You can save. It's cornered off. You could actually just sit here and defend that little spot there. I don't know if I'd ever jump down from there. Maybe climb down from here. The problem is with these games, you never know. In the forest, they would never jump down, but if they saw you and you aggroed them, they'll just charge down. Especially arms, isn't it? And you've got oysters, heaps of oysters here. I don't know why I'm showing places to build. It's not the purpose of this video. I guess I'm just exploring. Kind of fun to me. There's a village here. This spot here is not safe to swim across. Um, AI show that. That'll do. Yeah, here. There's sharks along here. I thought there's actually quite a lot. I think it's up here, maybe. Keep in mind, I'm swimming very, very fast. Oh, no, it's actually... Last time I came along here, there was a lot of sharks. It was like five or six. The water's not that deep, though, is it? No, it's not that deep at all. Oh, you can ride the shark. Oh, no. It's near these boats. Just so I don't come down in here. But yeah. I still think this would be a cool place to build. I stand by it. Can't drink from the waterfall though. It's most unfortunate. I've also been thinking about getting into Baldur's Gate 3. I don't know. This is just my save. It's got a baby right next to it. I am actually a huge fan of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Massive fan. I play them at least once a year, I think. I know Baldur's Gate 3 is good. But is it going to be good by my standard? I don't know. I'm worried it's not going to be the game I want it to be. Yeah. I know it's going to be different. Maybe I should just give it a go. I haven't played it yet. I watched it for three years in development thinking, oh god, god, god. Well, it looks like it's living up to the hype. It's mainstream though. I don't know if I'm going to do this off camera, but I'm going to extend that along. I have to pull all this up because I've broken the grid. Let's see if uh, it can be fixed, as you can see. And from what I can tell, there should be no reason why that can't connect. So yes, do not break the grid. I have an illustration of it to help you understand it a little bit better. And also, and Knight has been notified of it. Why is snow here, but not here? Interesting. So yeah, if you want to see that other video, it's on my Patreon page. I'm just going to have it unlisted. It's just, yeah, I wasn't happy. I wasn't a happy camper, mate. Put it that way. <laughs> Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.